guys and happy monday i just got out the shower i went to go work out so now i am all clean and about to rinse my face do my skincare and get ready because i have a casting not a casting a fitting i need to go to at 11 o'clock it is a little past nine so i just want to get all ready and then do some work before i have to head to the city because that's where my fitting is I probably am going to leave like an hour early so I might not even get some work done but just uh, want to give me some extra time to one get into the city because I have to cross the bridge and then the city is always horrible when I'm trying to find parking so I want to give myself some extra time to find some parking and then after that I'm actually going to spend the day on that side so I'm going to go visit my parents, go see my cat because I haven't seen my cat in so long and then probably hang out with my sister. So I just wanted to bring you guys along my day. Uh, for the fitting I can't wear like any makeup and have to obviously wear like the nude undergarments that you always have to wear and then they said no body lotion, but I can't go ashy. I had to put some body lotion on. So, and then I had to have wear uh, clear deodorant. So I'm using my other deodorant that I don't typically use today. And I don't know how I feel about it because it's not like an antiperspirant. Is that what it's called? So I feel like I'm going to be sweaty today. And I don't need to be sweaty while trying on these clothes. But anyways, I'm going to go show you my skincare routine because I feel like I haven't shown you what i've been using i have been having some really bad active breakouts lately it's really bad on this side these are just two marks that i need to get rid of from previous pimples but then this one right here is an actual pimple in the moment so not fun but i've been trying to let my skin breathe but i wore makeup yesterday and i had a few auditions last week and then i have the fashion show for fitting that i'm going to on saturday so Makeup is going to be on my face, but just trying to clear my skin. I was taking some multivitamins that I didn't realize that the biotin was like too much, or I'm assuming the biotin was too much for my body, which was making me have acne flare-ups. So just trying to clear my face now, and I hate having acne, but it is what it is. I use the CeraVe, CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser, and I mix a drop of Trader Joe's tea tree oil and their vitamin uh, E oil. So I'm gonna do that. I feel like when I look at myself on camera, I look like I'm rubbing my face real aggressively, but I promise I'm not. I'm really gentle on my face. I just am probably just moving my hands pretty quickly across my face, but yeah. And this is like not exfoliating um, like a cleanser, so it's not like I am stripping my skin. But I really like the CeraVe. I tried using the CeraVe, whatever it's called. I tried using La Roche Pose. That's what I thought originally broke me out um, because I've used one of their products in the past and broke me out really bad. I don't know if it was a like a skin purge that I needed, but um, I started using the La Roche Pose, which I really liked them. But then I started getting breakouts, so I was like, oh, maybe my skin is just purging. But it kept continuing so i was like oh no let me stop using it let me just go back to what i know and then it kept happening so i think that's why it's the multivitamin because that was the only other thing i was taking this month that um i haven't been taking prior and when i was taking a different multivitamin the same thing happened so i think it's just multivitamins my skin just doesn't like also if it's loud in the back it's because i have my fan on well it's off but it's automatic and because i just showered in here it's still hot in here so it's still gonna keep going but let me rinse this off now i have an extremely sensitive skin so whenever i touch my face it just gets really red so as you can see i just dried it it's still a little damp right now because i'm gonna put hyaluronic acid on and you want your skin to be partially wet still so it absorbs better into the skin i just use the good molecules um hyaluronic acid i use all of my serums from good molecule just because it's affordable and it works for my skin and i'm pretty sure it's a korean brand and you know korean and is it what japanese skincare they just work so much better but i use that and rub it into my face i try to let it make sure it like soaks fully into my face before or like absorbs into my skin before putting on the next serum so this just really helps with hydration of my skin especially now that we're entering into fall and winter months my skin is going to 
dry up so I don't want that happening and then I use the niacinamide serum which is great for acne and um, redness I literally have like none left I need to go and get some more but I'm trying to literally get the last part of this bottle but I typically just aim around the bottom half of my face because that's where I typically get hormonal acne and then I get really bad redness around my nose I also am just getting oh I'm finally better but I was sick pretty much not last week but the week before that and then the start of this past week so finally over it feeling so much better but I feel like my skin feels raw from continuously blowing my nose. Oops, my nose ring was coming out. Um, so I'm just trying to get the redness. I just have really bad redness in this area and then it wasn't helping that I was irritating it even more. And then the last serum that I put on, I literally have like none left trying to get it but it's the discoloration correction correction serum from good molecules as well because i have these acne scars right now this really helps clear them up but gosh here i am again i have like nothing left in these bottles and it's hard to see i might be done with this one let's see i'm trying to get the last bit of it there we go good enough I really need to go to Ulta and get some more and then I would typically put an under eye cream on which I use <laughs> the Yerba Mate good molecules eye gel but I this thing is done I need to get a new one clearly I need to go get some more skincare because I am running out of everything and then the last thing I use is just the CeraVe moisturizing cream I've tried using their moisturizing lotion but I like the cream better it's thicker but I don't feel like I don't feel like heavy on my face so I like it I've been wearing it I'm almost done with this bottle so I need to get a new one soon but that's my typical morning skincare routine right now because I can't wear makeup I'm just gonna put some sunscreen on and then I'm gonna put some aquaphor on my lashes and then curl them just so I feel a little bit more put together but this is pretty much what I'm gonna be looking like today my nose ring keeps coming out and I feel like it looks like I'm picking my nose and promise I'm not brushing these wild eyebrows I'm so grateful that I have thick eyebrows and I don't have to do anything to them besides brush them but they're also really wild and I have to put uh, I'm not doing it today, but I typically put the got to be glued gel in my eyebrows This is literally the only thing that keeps them in place, but I'm not doing that today I'm gonna put some sunscreen on in a second Which I just use a super goop matte one so I don't look too oily and then the trick Guys if you want your eyelashes curled all day, but don't want to wear mascara Aquaphor anyways, I what time is that? It's 9 24 now, so I still have some time I'm gonna eat something and then honestly I don't think I may be able to look over a few things before I need to go but I'm trying to leave in like the next 30 minutes so probably just gonna be getting ready and then head out y'all my ring light literally just tried to take me out I literally was leaving in my bathroom I had my camera in my hands and I had my ring light in my other hand mind you I'm using like my big ring light so this one this bad boy Anyways, I don't know what happened, but it decided that it wanted to collapse forward like this on my head. And I'm, it hit my head and all of the pieces that like cover the light, so all this, decided to want to bang my head and fly off. It literally just took me out. I could have gotten a concussion from this thing. Anyways, I'm okay. But... It is 9.37 and being quite honest, I'm not gonna get any work done right now. So I am just about to eat and probably read.
all done with my fitting. I tried on like four or five uh, outfits, but I think I'm only doing two or three looks. Two for sure, potentially a third. Um, some of them are cute. Well, one of them I already work with this brand, so I already knew the outfit I was actually going to wear, but the other one I didn't know which designer I was going to be working with. But I'm currently in the Chick-fil-A line right now. I don't know if this is for me, but someone is walking up. Let's see. Yes. Well, I already got my Chick-fil-A. That was really quick. Oh, they put me as Kathy. I'm not Kathy. Every single time I say my name is Cassie. I always get Kathy, but anyways, got my Chick-fil-A. I've been in the Chick-fil-A line, so I knew I was going to come to Chick-fil-A after this because I've been wanting Chick-fil-A and I don't live next to, or as close to Chick-fil-A as I do at my parents. So I just came here because it's on the way to my parents' house. Uh, my parents aren't home, nor is my sister. So it's just going to be me and my cat for now, but I think my sister's coming home in a bit. So I am gonna go spend my time with Seiji Weiji because I miss him. And then I am gonna eat this Chick-fil-A and then just wait um, for my sister, but do work in the meantime because I got client projects and a lot of content, um, just brands I need to reach out to because it is the fourth quarter and this is the biggest time of the year for UGC. So I'm just trying to secure um a lot more brand deals oh i'm trying to get around to this little driveway for chick-fil-a because it's tight but that is the update sorry it's not the greatest angle i'm sweating it's always so hot at chick-fil-a for some reason i don't really know but wanted to give you the update where i'm at it's 12 oh let me go this way 12 40 so i still have half the day but i haven't got any work done here you go um okay well you could go to people <laughs> um earlier i know i was talking about my deodorant and i really need my antiperspirant because i feel like i stink already so i'm gonna see if my sister got some deodorant because <laughs> i don't want to be stinky all day This boy literally took over my bedroom. This is what my bedroom used to be. And now it just has his cat scratcher tree in here. And then he has all his little toys. And then I left his window perch. And then I left my desk chair, which he uses to sleep. But literally he has taken over my bedroom since I don't live here no more. Is this your bedroom? Is this your bedroom? Hello? You gotta act like the camera? Okay, bye. It's way later in the day. I'm still at my parents' place. I end up going to Hobby Lobby with my sister to get my Christmas tree because I wanted to get one early this year before it all sold out sorry if you hear a noise in the background my mom is frying up some chicken um but anyways i got my christmas tree really excited about that it's not going up yet but i wanted to secure it i got a seven and a half but it's a fake tree i have christmas or my family always has a real christmas tree but i just got a fake one for my place um but got that got some boba and then i came home and i've just been editing uh, the video that I filmed yesterday to have up this week so stay tuned for that it's gonna be up before you see this vlog so make sure to watch that if you haven't already and then I am just chilling it is actually 801 so it's getting late but I'm gonna have dinner here and then probably head home so just relaxing spending time with family just because I don't see them as often now even though they live like 30 minutes away but just spending time here enjoying myself and then i'm gonna head home y'all it is past my bedtime it is like 10 10 right now i just got home after having dinner or while 
eating dinner, we were watching the Netflix movie called Love is in the Air, I believe, but I didn't finish it because I wanted to head home and it was already 9.30. So I ended up packing my bag because I had a bunch of stuff that I needed to bring from my parents' house over here. So I packed my car. I mean, did I say pack my bag? I pe Well, I packed my bag and my car, but I had a bunch of things I needed to bring into the house. I have just three bags and I have a bunch of things in my trunk right now, but I'm, I'm just not even gonna try to get that out of my trunk right now. So it's gonna stay there. I'm exhausted. I am just gonna go get ready for bed to be quite honest, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I felt like I did a little bit different of things than I typically do than just like staying home. But it was nice to go to my parents' house, just spend some time with my parents, my sister, and my cats. And I'm not trying to exclude my other sister. She just doesn't live at that house. But it's always nice to see family. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for the next one.